all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we have another houston rockets video for you guys unfortunately they got another loss last night against the miami heat and i wanted to do just kind of a bigger picture video i do these rocket videos every day and recently i've been talking about actually ever since the james harden trade where we got four first round picks i mean even the russell westbrook trade i really have a ton of trust and faith in our gm i have a ton of it but with that being said i've noticed that recently i keep saying i think the rockets will be competitive next year and i wanted to make a video on just actually the likelihood of that happening because when i say that i feel like it's right after something crazy like okay i talk about a hypothetical where the houston rockets get the first pick get Cade Cunningham. Well, in that situation, you just got the first round pick. You just got 6'8 Cade Cunningham. Like, that's pretty insane. So I want to talk about the realistic odds because we are now the worst team in the NBA. Personally, I don't see that changing anytime soon because, I mean, just this roster isn't that great, man. Like, John Wall is really good for losing games for us. Kevin Porter Jr. isn't capable of leading a team to a victory on his own. Same with Christian Wood. I'm sorry if that's the harsh truth, but that's a fact. Christian Wood is not good enough at this point in his career to single-handedly win a game on just a night-to-night -night basis. So he still had a good game. These guys still had good games. Like Kevin and Christian Wood, they both put up 18 points last night, but one of my biggest concerns about going into next season is Kelly Olynyk, because this is the last year of his contract, and I don't know what the Rockets are going to do. He costs about $12 million a year. He's about to turn 30. He's 29 years old right now. So to be quite honest, I don't even know if we re-sign him because he's going to be expensive in Houston in the 14 games he's played he is averaging 18 points and eight rebounds it's unbelievable this is coming off of Miami so keep in mind he's averaging only four more minutes a night on this team than he did in Miami he averaged about 27 minutes in Miami he's averaging about 31 minutes in Houston right now he put up 10 six and two still super solid one of the better years of his career I mean he really you can tell especially probably because it's his contract year but I mean the dude absolutely went off absolutely went off and he's been going off on this Rockets team so Kelly Olynyk. The reason I'm so stressed about him is because Kelly Olenek is a genuine dude who I think can, first off, I want on this team moving forward, whether it's a starting role or maybe like a sixth man bench type role where you're still getting 25 minutes. It's just coming off the bench. So I wonder if it's that. I, I just wonder a whole bunch of different hypotheticals because getting retaining Kelly Olenek, in my opinion, is super big to maintaining relevancy if we don't get a guy like john collins even a guy like laurie markin and i mean i still would rather have kelly olenic but you get my point where it's just like we need somebody else you can't have like god forbid please houston rockets do not go into this next season only having christian wood first off having christian wood be your biggest guy on the roster but being like the only big man is i mean it's not rockets <laughs> It's like, come on, bro. It's interesting. Houston, this is their second losing season since 2001. They have the league's third best winning percentage this century. The run the Houston Rockets have been on is absolutely incredible. I do want to make sure, make note of this I mean, this season was weird, man. Like, this season is super weird. You've got Sterling Brown. You've got injuries with guys like Eric Gordon, Daniel House currently. Like, these got David Nwaba, all three of those dudes. Like, John Wall battling injuries, Victor Oladipo. All of these dudes have been half hurt, half COVID. I mean, half of them just suck on every other night because they either got COVID or they got hurt. Messes It messes you up. So... I really like this roster, but maintaining relevancy, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of starting to think about it. Like, I don't know just how far I think we will go next year. Like, first round exit, 
because I just, you know, looking at Christian Wood, I mean, this dude isn't enough. He is not enough because he isn't enough right now to win games. But on the other hand, you get a first round pick. You get a top four pick. You get more specifically the first pick. You get a guy like Cade. You get Mobley. You get whoever you want to get. It doesn't even matter. In this video, it doesn't even matter. You get a top four pick and you get a free agent signing. I mean, that's pretty solid right there. That's not a worst team in the NBA to me, especially if you re-sign Kelly Olynyk, you retain half the guys, you you know, who are on this team right now. Like me personally, I would love to have Sterling Brown or David Nwaba back next year. I don't really want to handle house back. Eric Gordon. I love Eric Gordon because now that everyone is gone, I, I honestly just don't really have a problem with Eric Gordon because I know the Rockets need Eric Gordon. I know they need that scoring. And so I can't wait for Eric Gordon to come back. I don't know if there's any news on him, actually. Um, I know he's, like, out through tomorrow. That was, like, the report was out through April 21st, which is tomorrow. So I don't really know what's going on with Eric Gordon. But um, realistically, the Houston Rockets, if they want to get back into contention next year, some things have to fall in their favor. Personally, I think they need a top two pick. And then they definitely need at least one free agent signing and at least one big re-sign. So we'll see what happens with the Houston Rockets. But, I mean, John Wall, I just want this dude to get shut down for the rest of the year because I know he can be useful for us next season, even the year after that if he decides to come back. I mean, I know John Wall, he can still hoop. He's still got gas left in the tank. He's trying to do a little too much all season. And um, you can tell, I mean, you can tell, man, this season is just super weird for everybody on the Houston Rockets, except honestly, maybe Kelly Olynyk. <laughs> but actually, that's super weird because he's averaging 18 and 8. So it's a weird year for every single player on the Houston Rockets. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'll see you guys later.